and Israel. We are at a crossroads in Kenya today. First, I want to say, want first to pay condolences to all those who lost their, their, their beloved ones. We lost so many of young, promising lives unnecessarily during this last one week because of trigger happy policemen who have been given instruction to shoot to kill in civilian authorities all over the world police are not supposed to be shooting to kill people police responsibility is to protect the life and property of the people of, of, of Kenya but a police officer who goes out and becomes rogue and begin to shoot endlessly is a criminal who needs to be dealt with in accordance with the law. What we saw the other day is something that was unimaginable, is completely unprecedented in the 61 years of Kenya's independence. We never seen things like, like this. We have seen scenes like those ones here. We are being told about goons who have been hired. Who are these goons? No, who are those goons? Tell us. Tell us. Who are these goons and who are those goons? We reach a stage where the government has to go and even uh, bring the military into the streets. This means that civilian authority has failed. The civilian uh, 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 forces have failed to deal with, 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 with the people. The military are not supposed to be in the streets. Army is there to defend the country against foreign aggression, not to deal with internal strifes. And that's why it is very wrong for him our court to rule that you can continue to maintain army on our streets. We have got Kenyan police to deal with this. But we have said this so many times that the law allows Kenyan people to peacefully pick it, pick it peacefully demonstrate against what they don't like. Peaceful demonstrators should be actually escorted by police. They should not be shot by the police. So what we have seen in discriminate bloodletting in our country is completely inexcusable and unacceptable. We condemn in the strongest term possible this brutal use of the police force against the, the innocent people of our country. And we are saying that this, this time has now come for Kenyan people to come together as one people and talk as one people and talk about the Kenya we want. This is the time for this. We are going to talk about the details of those, those, those engagements in the coming weeks. But we want to say that our people should continue to remain firm. God is with us. And if God is with us, who can be against us? Thank you very much. We must open our eyes. Yesterday, Ruto signed some financial instruments. We show very clearly that the country is heading the road wrong, in the wrong direction. He has told the whole world, and more particularly Kenya, that he is not going to fulfill the promises that he gave to the country because he was living in a dream world. He has said he has no money, and therefore back in Parliament he has asked uh, members of Parliament to come out with a supplementary uh, budget in which all the allocations for expenditure for the Republic of Kenya will be reduced substantially. So that Mamamboga, if you had any hopes from Ruto, that hope is dead because he's telling you he has no money. If he promised you a job, Know that that job is not there because he has no money. Ruto is saying he's giving people jobs 
out there in other countries as you're recruiting people to go to other countries if any president does the duty of recruiting citizens and patriots to go and work in another country that is an indication of failure indication of failure so me i think the for those who did not know that kenya kwanza was based on a hypocrisy on a on a big lie to the people of kenya now you are seeing it today i was seeing yesterday when in one of the newspapers they are now giving the correct figures of the azimio members of parliament they are now acknowledging that azimio had more mps in parliament more than kenya kwanza but he bought some of our mps so without a majority in parliament and without legitimacy i don't know how uh, ruto is going to manage uh, to govern and any leader if it reaches a moment where you have to be protected by the military it means your time is up your time is up <laughs> Raila Molo Dinga ni ti ni ka e Obiro ni kechma chiel kum generals ma genji Raila Molo Dinga wa goni to ruudguru ma ko ko wono ma bange ka ko pewa ndai nje o wacha no kan bange no bido executive director o tio e council of elders ngani yari mo mi okoro president maro biro kai
Kanye Kamu 